What's going on? I don't know what the fuck that is. What's going on, everybody? Um, it's October 3rd here. Uh, freezing outside again. Day three, making consistent content. And um, I want to chat about how to not quit today. I was watching a video last night by uh, David Goggins. And it made me think about... Well, first of all, his video is talking about how what he says to himself when he's ready to quit. It made me think about... So what he said, I'll share with you, uh, Eric Thomas, what he's mentioned before and, and what I've said to myself, but if you find yourself struggling, uh, to want to quit, to want to give up, whether that's, uh, in your fitness, whether that's, you know, just in life in general, maybe that's in business, you know, what are a few different things that you can say to yourself? And this was literally in a business context with David Goggins as well, when they were talking about it, um, that you, what can you say to yourself to help you keep going? So... Okay, three, three, three stories, three ideas here, and I'll I'll start off with David Goggins. So um, I don't know if you know anything about David Goggins. Check him out. I'm not going to go into full detail, but he's kind of pegged as one of the baddest motherfuckers in the world, and um, I love him. <laughs> I just fucking love him. And uh, he just his his thing is running. So he runs like hundred mile marathons. He used to be obese basically, and uh, now he's like world class. So and he was a Navy SEAL. So he's being interviewed and it was actually in the sales context and they were comparing like, you know, what keeps you going when you want to give up? And so David gave an example of like when he's at like maybe mile 50 in a marathon and he wants to quit, he thinks of uh, a scenario where you can put in two columns here. You could either, um, you could either remind yourself of how far you've came and all of the reasons that you deserve to succeed and what you're working towards, or you can forget. You can remind or you can forget. That's literally the two buckets that he puts his thoughts in. And in the forget column, you forget at the, I'd say mile 50 in a marathon or mile 50 in your life or mile 50 in the week or mile 50 in, you know, just wherever you're going after right now, you can forget all of the reasons why you said you deserve to succeed in the first place. You can forget all the reasons why you're fighting in the first place. You can forget, you know, how far you've come in the first place. And that, if you forget, it will, you'll lose the reasons to keep going. But if you remind yourself of all of the exact same content, just take that content and put it over here and remind yourself that those are the reasons that you need to keep going, that you need to keep fighting, that you need to continue. Those can be your reasons if you remind yourself why you need to continue in doing what you're, what you're pursuing. So you can either remind or you can forget. And that's David Goggins' context that I found to be super insightful. Um, the second one is by a guy named Eric Thomas. And I followed Eric for years. I'm, I've mentioned Elliot Hulse before in videos. Eric Thomas, sorry, Eric Thomas and Elliot Hulse are like the two initial YouTube influencers that I ever discovered in my life back in like 2006. And um, Eric Thomas had a wicked, wicked video that uh, he was describing. He put, basically put it this way. And this is something I shared with students just about a week ago when I did a, a virtual presentation for like 700 students or something. I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. If your effort is low, you're probably not thinking about the opportunity, you're probably thinking about the obligation. So let that one sink in for a second. If your effort is low, you're probably not thinking about the opportunity, you're probably thinking about the obligation. Very similar to the, rem the remember and forget, opportunity, obligation. If you're thinking about the obligation, you're thinking about all of the difficult things that you need to do. Um, and this, as I'll use students as, and homework as an example. The obligation is you have to sit down and do something you don't wanna do. It's a time commitment. You don't get to spend time with your friends. Um, you don't know it. It might be difficult, it's not easy, it's hard. Um, you know, it, it might cause some stress because it's something new that you need to learn. And so from that, you get stuck on the obligation. However, the what's the opportunity? So 
for students especially, the opportunity is like relieve anxiety, um, eliminate the pressure, get your parents to back off, um, get the homework done so you have free time again. Freedom. Freedom is what you all want anyway. And so if you focus on, if I actually, if, if you focus on the obligation, if I actually commit to what I need to do, the obligation doesn't become your focus point. The opportunity becomes your reason to keep going, to keep doing what you need to do. And that can help pull you through when you feel like you want to give up. And number three is, uh, I'll just share with you what I've used for myself for years. Uh, it's the, I, wait, I gotta start carrying a copy of my book out here so you can actually see it. Um, I wrote my autobiography, still standing. When you have every reason to give up, keep going. And for me, that subtitle, uh, particularly not still standing part, but when you have every reason to give up, keep going has been one of my biggest mantras for years. Um, because I'm, I'm just like, fuck it. I'm like, I've already come this far. What have I got to lose? Might as well keep going. I already know the other outcome. I already know what it looks like if I quit, you know, after my dad took his life and when I've wanted to do the same and give up, it's like, I, I remember literally one day, literally one day, um, I just said to myself, I'm going to try quitting. I'm going to try quitting and see what that's like. And I just stopped. I just stopped doing everything. I just sat in bed. I was a, a piece of shit. I was a lump just laying there. And I was just like, this is fucking brutal. I'm like, who would want to do this? Like why? It, it just literally sucks. It literally sucks giving up. It's so boring. You don't get anywhere. What the fuck are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm like, I literally got to like day two and I'm like, I just, no matter how bad, it, this is another one by Les Brown. It's like, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. You say that, you say that shit to yourself. And anyway, so that's point number three is that when you have every reason to give up, keep going. So as a quick recap, uh, David Goggins, you can either remember or you can forget and, and you want to focus on remember all of the reasons why. Uh, second is with uh, Eric Thomas. Um, you can focus on the opportunity or the obligation. You always want to focus on the opportunity. And then the third piece, which was my 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 own, is uh, when you have every reason to give up, keep going. And uh, I'll add in the Les Brown. If you have, um, oh shit, what did I just say? Uh, no matter how bad it is, no matter how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. So I hope that helps. Done.